your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Thanks for watching News 5 at 6. We are live in Colorado Springs. Beautiful shot right there. A few light showers trying to push off the hills, but it's real dry at the surface. And uh, maybe a couple of sprinkles, places like Peregrine into Rock Rim and north end of the Springs, all the way up to Monument Hill. Getting a couple of sprinkles on the north end of El Paso County right now. I'll show you radar in a second. Pueblo, cloudy skies, but don't get your hopes up for any rain. It is going to be dry for the rest of the night tonight. Here's your big weather story tracking a cold front. Maybe I should just call it a cool front. There's really nothing cold about it, but this thing posting up to the northwest of us tomorrow. Then late tomorrow night, we'll shove that thing across the I-25 corridor, bring in some slightly cooler air for us by Wednesday. Tomorrow, another real hot day, but 5 to maybe 7 degrees cooler by Wednesday. Still going to be sunny around here. There's no water for the front to work with, so Wednesday, another dry day. In fact, I've got you dry in your extended forecast for at least the next seven days. Speaking of dry, most neighborhoods not even getting a sprinkle right now, but up across the north end of El Paso County, right there, right across the Tri Lakes area, a few light showers falling in many areas right now. That stuff pushing from west to east at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Most of us will be dry here for the rest of the night tonight. Tomorrow, another really hot, dry day. 10 a.m. into the 70s. Look for a few high, thin clouds along and west of I-25 during the day. Tomorrow, those high, thin clouds will come and go. With that downslope flow, it's certainly going to be another dry day across our area. And the wind is going to flare up. Nice and calm early tomorrow morning, but by late morning into the afternoon. Here we go with those southwesterly winds. These are sustained wind speeds. We could see gusts up to 30 and maybe even 35 miles per hour before that wind dies off after sunset tomorrow evening. It was unseasonably hot again today. Pueblo 90 in the springs 86. Those temperatures anywhere from 8 to 11 degrees hotter than where we should be this time of the year. Look how warm during the overnight hours and the morning hours. We should be in the upper 40s for our average low this time of the year. Not even close to that this morning. Outside right now we've got 60s across the higher elevations, 70s and 80s across the rest of the News 5 viewing area. Temps tonight really warm for this time of the year. Again 54 and 57. Those temperatures anywhere from 5 to almost 10 degrees warmer than where we should be. Afternoon highs tomorrow. Hot stuff coming through. We'll have that dry downslope flow with those winds kicking up. No red flag warning tomorrow, but please keep in mind if a fire starts, it will burn quickly tomorrow with our dry fuels and that gusty wind. A little cooler for us by Wednesday. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. Breezy to windy for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's going to stay dry around here. So again, please be cognizant of the, cognizant of the increasing fire danger around here. Now the cold front comes in late Friday, so it will cool nicely just in time for the weekend, mid-70s, both Saturday and Sunday in Pueblo. Afternoon highs unseasonably hot for the next seven days. Of course, you've got the Chili Fest in Pueblo this weekend. Nothing chilly about those afternoon high temperatures. And please look for us Friday afternoon. We'll have our live newscast at 5 and 6 from the Chili Fest in Pueblo. Looking forward to meeting everyone there. Cool, but not really cool on Saturday. Cooling to 82, that front moving through. It's going to be dry and windy on Saturday. And then a fairly nice day for you on Sunday. In Canyon City, afternoon high temperatures in the 80s and 90s over the next seven days. Tomorrow will be the hottest day you'll have to deal with for at least the next seven days, but staying awfully toasty for the rest of the work week. And in Woodland Park, I've got you dry for the next seven days as well. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and windy from time to time 